Hey Star Wars fans, how's it going? This is Star Wars Net 77. In today's episode, we're going to take a closer look at the Cinema Scene packs. These are three packs that came out for the Power of the Force 2 line. First one came out in 1997, last one was 1999. These are really cool packs. Let's take a closer look. So here's an overview of there's 10 of these packs released all together. I have the doubles on the Continuous Showdown, so I have 11 of them. Here's all 10 at a glance. Let's take a closer look at them individually. So this is the Cantina Showdown, and this is uh, comes with three characters, Dr. Ivazan, Ponda Baba, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, this character, Do the Doctor, actually was never released in the card form up to this point, so it's the first time you can get him. And uh, Ponda Baba, I guess his uh, hand comes off, which is cool. And Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's got a different stance than the Carter version. You can see he's kind of bending his knee, so it's a different mold than what you'd see on the card back. Uh, on the back, you got a clip of the film. This one came out in 1997, and just talks about the, um, you know, this what happened in the movie. Oh, obviously down below you've got uh, the other characters available, and it's by Kenner, although it says Hasbro Inc. Hasbro owned it, but it was still under Kenner at this point. Okay, here is the Death Star Escape, which really cool is, the, it comes with Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Chewbacca. The helmets get come off. And the only time you could get um, Han Solo at this point with Stormtrooper was a Kellogg Melloway exclusive figure. So it was really cool to pick this one up as well. And I'll show my exclusive exclusives in a different video. So all three of those. Similar to the other one, you got a clip of the movie in the back. Came out in 1997. And talks a little about it. They retail for $15 back there. This toy just for $15. Comes with handcuffs as well, Chewbacca, and I think it's a different mold as well. Okay. Here is purchase of the droids. This is a three pack. I got this FA Schwartz. Paid twenty eight for it way back. FA Schwartz was way expensive, but uh, it comes with uh, Uncan Owen Lars. Uh, C three PO. He's got a. Uh, he's dirty, so it's a different version of C three PO. He's got some detail on him, which is cool. He's got Luke Skywalker. He's got the new look as well. New face and everything. And here's the scene. This is the scene where they purchase uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO, which is pretty cool. And I like the background too. And it comes, it comes with this platform that can stand. All these come with platforms as well, which is really neat. Here's a final Jedi duel. This is Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, and Luke Skywalker. Hard to see with the glare, but uh, Emperor has, uh, has its own chair, which is really cool. And you got Luke and uh, Darth Vader battling it out. So this is a really cool one. Comes with a stand. Now the back is a little different than the other ones I just showed you because you got the proof proof of purchase. Whereas before, the proof see how the proof of purchase is a little bit different. So keep that in mind. I don't know if that's a variation or not, but uh, this is obviously Return of Jedi at the very end. Look how Luke, uh, Darth Vader's cape is blowing up too, which is kind of cool. And this is Luke's face is uh, new as well. It's not like the other Jedi and Luke that came out in the Carter one, okay? Here is another one that came out in 1998. This is Jabba the Hutt Dancers. You got Ristal Griata and Lin Mi. They're the dancers from the remake. If you remember in Jabba's Palace, they weren't in the original, but then the remake uh, they released, uh, they, they had that, okay? Back in 1987. Here they are, there's a clip of them dancing. First time they were ever main figure for him. And again, it's got the different proof of purchase, okay? And different list of characters. And actually, it's got a pretty long paragraph about them, a little smaller words and stuff, but you can see the detail of these characters too. The Rodian, it's kind of like Garrido. Blair, Blair is brutal, I'm sorry guys. Okay. Here is the Minoc Hunt. Came out in 1998. This is Chewbacca, Princess Leia, and Han Solo. This is a scene that Empress back when they're hunting the Minox. They get swallowed by that big creature. Um, and uh, they're out hunting, and there's a Minoc right there, which is cool. Okay. And you get the, the breath mask on as well. You got Leia in Hoth kind of gear, and uh, never available at this up to this point. They did release the Leia in Hoth, but a little different uh, configuration. And uh, details amazing. And on the back, you get the scene. Even if you look at Chewbacca here closely, he's got even a different uh, tint to him as well. More of a whitish, bluish tint, which is cool. It's cool. 
Okay, and here in 1998, we start getting into uh, a different design of the box. So you can see, let's compare them. See, this is the design one. Now you get the design two. So this is more 1998. This is to uh, this is back with the Comtech figures as well. Uh, we're coming out and stuff like that. So you get the the green blast. Okay, this is the Cantina Aliens. You got Libria, uh, Newbrun Leeds, and Tequil. Uh, that's kind of like uh, Snaggletooth right there. These were in the cantina scene in New Hope. First time they ever made these figures. You know, they made a Tequila or a Snaggletooth earlier, but same same species, I'm not sure if it's the same guy or not. And even on the back, you can see it's a little different. You get this cut out now. It talks about episode one coming soon, and these are the characters. These were the flashback cards characters, okay? Now it's Hasbro, it's no longer Kenner at this point. Okay? 1998, you also had Jabba's skiff guards. Kalatu, Barada, and Nikto. These guys are uh, also made vintage ones as well. This is a skiff. And it compares the two between uh, Episode 1 and uh, Return of Jedi, which is interesting. Okay, connects me. Here is Jedi Spirits, which is cool. So you got Anakin, Yoda, and Obi-Wan. And they're kind of in a clear, almost like toothpaste. <laughs> but they're supposed to be spirits. Obviously the end of Return of Jedi. And then Tox. Uh, there's a connection between Episode 1 as well. The flashback cards. But very cool detail to these figures. And finally, the last one in the set that came out in 1999 was Rebel Pilots. Ten Num, which is Nia Nums, I guess, you know, relative or cousin brother, I don't know, they're related somehow. Wedge Antilles and Arvel Crinad, I don't know how you pronounce his name. These names are really hard to pronounce. These are the pilots, really cool looking. And you can see the base, it's really cool. And talks between them and the pilots for episode one again. And even this is a different back. Let me grab a previous one here. And so to compare to the back is different. See how it's different here? These are more the Comtech ones, okay, rather than a flashback. And it shows you the other one that there's available. So that's it as far as uh, cinema scenes, guys. Take care. May the force be with YouTube always. Bye.